This is the solution to written homework 13. Okay, so let's, for solving part A, let's figure out what is known. So from item 1, From item one, the, the math that we're given is that the derivative is 1, 3, 2, 6, e to kt, where, where k is constant but unknown. Okay. From item two, from item two, that is saying that the derivative evaluated at 7, the derivative evaluated at 7 is 250. And item 3, item 3 is saying that the initial population, that is to say, not the derivative, but the population, uh, b of t at t equal to 0 is 2017, which is to say b at 0 is 2017. So those are the three things that we know. Okay, so the first thing to do is we're going to use uh, 1 and 2 to determine k. Because it's saying that 250 is what you get when you plug 7 into the derivative. And therefore, 250 must be equal to 1326 exponential of 7k. So now we're going to take that equation and solve for k. I'll divide by 1326. So 250 over 1326 is e to 7k. And then now to get the k out of the exponent, I'll compute natural logarithm of both sides. So the natural log of 250 over 1326 is 7k. So that the natural log of 250 over 1326, and then all of that over 7, k. And then we could numerically approximate that with the calculator. So that's the natural log 250 over 1326 uh, divided by 7. Okay, so we'll round it to three places. k is uh, negative 0.238. Okay, so as a result of that, we know that the derivative <coughs> is 1326 uh, exponential of negative 0.238 Okay, so that's the that's the derivative. Uh, we can get the original function b of t by anti-differentiating the derivative. <coughs> so we'll anti-differentiate uh, the derivative there. Okay, so that would be 
the antiderivative of 1, 3, 2, 6 exponential of negative 0 0.238 t dt well that is going to be 1, 3, 2, 6 and then exponential of negative 0 0.238 t and then all of that divided by negative 0 0.238 t uh, not t, just divide by that constant and then plus uh, the unknown c so we could simplify that a little bit. 1, 3, 2, 6, divide by negative 0 0.238. That would be uh, b of t is negative 5,571.43. Uh, Uh, exponential negative 0 0.238 t plus an unknown constant. Okay, so now we almost know uh, b, but what we don't know yet, what we don't know yet is the value of c. So now we're going to determine c determine C, and we're going to do that using the fact that we're supposed to get 2017 when you plug in 0, uh, when you plug in 0. Okay, so 2017, plug in 0 there. Well exponential of 0 is 1, so that's just negative 5571.43 times 1, and then plus C. So we can add that number to both sides. So negative 5571.43, and then uh, we're going to add that to 2017. So that is 7588.43 is C. And as a result, B of T is <coughs> negative 5571.43, exponential negative 0 0.238 t and then plus that number 7588.43 okay so that's the answer to part a for part b for part b the answer is that uh, it's increasing And the reason is actually uh, easier than you might think, because the derivative <coughs> uh, we established at the top there is 1, 3, 2, 6 multiplied by exponential of negative 0 0.238 t, and that is always positive. Because 1, 3, 2, 6 is positive, And exponential of anything is also positive. So the product of those two is positive. The derivative is always positive. Therefore, it's increasing. For part C, what happens in the limit? Well, <clears throat> the limit as t goes to infinity, mm, that should say, 
this should say t. The limit as t goes to infinity of that expression, that will be uh, negative 5,571.43 uh, exponential negative 0 0.2388. T and then add 7588.43. Well, this number is constant, so its limit is itself. Whereas this this uh, term is going to go to zero. So this term goes to zero because the exponential of negative something will go to zero as uh, <coughs> that gets big. And so the answer is just 7588.43. So the way to interpret this, this is saying that the number of bacteria as time gets large is going to stabilize uh, at that value. So therefore, <coughs> the number of bacteria stabilizes at around 7500. So that means that it's the bacteria have reached equilibrium with uh, their environment.